Hey guys, it's Erin. Happily we go. It's flow time. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do this week. Um, I, I'm going to use the book again. So let's see. We have this gray page. So let's see if we can find some things that'll go with that. Let's use that. Look at this tag. Perfect. It's already pretty much done. So that may make easy work for us. And I don't know. Um... Oh yeah, these little things. Let's try and use these. They're like laser printed tags or I don't know. Um, okay, so I zoomed in. Let's get started. Um, I'm gonna clip. All right. I'm not really sure where I'm going this week. I know I wanna cut that out. I wanna use a couple of these maybe. So let's work, let's start with these. Let's see if we can spray some sprays on them to kind of cover them up, maybe. So I'm gonna grab some Dilutions. This one's uh, Pure Sunshine. Oh, let me get a paper towel and we'll spray underneath it. There we go. And no, it's it's like a thermal paper. That's what it is. It's like thermal tags. And I was, wasn't was sure if it would soak in at all, and it's not, so maybe a marker. It's a big brush pen and nope, that just blends right with it too. So I have an idea. So I'm gonna take this sandpaper and I'm just going to lightly sand off some of that sheen that's on the stickers. And we'll see if this works. Okay. All right. Well, stick it in there a little bit more. Now I'm gonna grab some Tangerine Dream and then I'm in love with copper right now. So here's some uh, Cowabunga Copper from Lindy Stamp Gang. So let's, oh, and let's take some, I just got these Dalarani liquid acrylic inks. Hobby Lobby has them on clearance for like $1.24, it's ridiculous. So run on over if you haven't already and see if you can pick some up. I'm gonna cut this out and with the power of technology, we'll just knock it out there, boom. All right, now let's see. I think I'm gonna go with that. And I'm gonna take that cool gray liquid acrylics and just drip it down. And then I have this Genesis green. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's shimmery, I love it. So we're gonna throw some colors on there. It makes it almost ghoulish looking. I'm gonna grab my paper towel and just give it a little bit of texture. And then we'll dry that with the heat tool. Then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side because I like symmetry. So I'm I'm not feeling the creative mojo this week. I have just gotten over the worst case of the flu that I've ever had. It's been 10 days and I still don't feel like myself yet. So we're rolling with it though because we're, we're gonna jump into the flow. So now that's dried and I know I wanna glue this on there. We'll just throw on some matte medium, use my fingers. And I'm going to use the matte medium over the top of it as well because I'm not sure if I want to ink it up or use pastels or whatever, but better to be safe. Just smooth it all down and then dry it up. After I cut it, I was laying out and I decided I wanted to use that other piece, but I'm gonna flip it and I'll just glue that down as well. Now that that's all dry, I'm gonna lay my tag here and kind of figure out what I want to do. And I know I want, we're gonna bring back those stickers that's still just a little bit wet, so I'm gonna take the heat tool and heat those up. Well, not heat them up, dry them. And then look at that, see that copper shimmer? Isn't that pretty? It's kind of like an orangey. Now, how do I wanna do this? I don't really know. I'm not gonna leave it like that. I know I'm gonna take them off. And luckily, wow, these are still really, really sticky, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna use them to stick my tag down to the page kind of figure out my placement here. And we'll move that thread out of the way. I don't know. Nope, right there. Okay. 
So I like that. And now I have this paper left over, so I'm actually going to throw that back in the flow and maybe we could use that another time. So now that I have it stuck down, I decide I don't, the background's too busy. So I'm just lifting it up carefully and I'm going to throw some gesso, if I can get it out, and grab a small brayer and I'm just going to brayer on some gesso to kind of tone down that background and bring out some of the white that's in the tag too. I'll roll off that gesso and then I'm thinking I want to add some splashes of that Kawabunga copper again to kind of pull that in from the background. So I'm drawing it a little bit but I don't have patience so I'm just going to dab it with a paper towel and we'll call that good. Now we're gonna carefully layer that back down with the sticky stuff. Move the thread out of the way. There we go, push it down. Bingo, I like that a little better. Now I just got these too. They're from Brie Reese and they're um, acrylic paints in a little tube, 74 cents people. So this is medium magenta, which has some of that magenta in the tag. And now I'm gonna use ocean green and pull that in as well. Just do some dots. I'm just trying to get it all cohesive, just use colors that are in the tag. I'm making this really easy, people, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, it's pretty easy this week. I'm going to take some art glitter glue just in case, glue it down, and of course push my fingers into the paint dots, but that's okay, smudging is good. Then I'm going to take the paper towel and just kind of blot the dots and dry it just a little bit too so I don't keep getting it smudged everywhere. Now I'm gonna take a yellow pastel and I'm gonna pull the yellow down. See how it's up in this corner right there? I'm gonna pull it down along the side of the tag and just kind of make it pop a little bit from the background. And then here's another color of yellow. I didn't really need to do that, but um, now I like that kind of tealish color and I thought maybe I'll pull some of that blue from the tag into the background as well. So I'm just gonna do that kind of in the corners here. I don't even know if you can see this in the end, but that's okay, it's all about layers. Layers and taking it to the next level. So I got my sentiment here, remember the now. And once I put it down, I thought maybe I should decide if I like it somewhere else better. But no, no, right, go with your first instinct. So I'm gonna throw it down there and I'm sick, so I want to flip back through this one day and be like, oh yeah, I was really sick, and I keep looking forward to like, I just want my energy back, I just want my craft mojo, I just want all that, but that's the future, so I'm just going to enjoy the now, because obviously the universe wants me to just rest and take it easy. I'm going to take a Faber-Castell pit pen and just make faux stitching along the sentiment to kind of pull in the stitching on the tag. And then I have this uh, clear glitter pen, and I'm just gonna glitter over the top of that because you gotta have some sparkle, you know me. I like a lot of sparkle. So I'm feeling like I need it needs a little black. So I'm gonna take my woody, my Stabilo woody, and go around the outside, and then use a aqua brush and just mush that around. And then I'll smudge it out with my finger. So don't forget to check out Tiffany's channel down in the link below and see what three things she did for her flow this week. It's always fun to see what we pull out of the hat. This time was definitely a surprise. So I'm thinking I wanna add some X's here. So I grabbed my Uniball Signo, but it's pretty much gone. So I couldn't get any of the paint to come out. So then I'm gonna grab a Sharpie paint pen and do that. But it just didn't, it wasn't very white. It just kind of soaked in, but they're there. I wanted to, there's X's on the tag and I thought I would pull those off into the background so that way your eye would trail down from the bottom and follow the X's up to the top. So I'm gonna grab this new, it's a Reminisce pen from Marvy and it's pretty awesome. It works really well. So I'm just gonna go over top of those X's and brighten them up a little bit. And that is going to finish us up this week. So thanks so much for joining in with me. I hope you guys liked this flow. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below and let me know the last time you were sick. And until next time, happy creating.